Hi everyone, it's Hope from HopeYoder.com here to show you a brand new update to Craft & Cut. To see if you have the latest update, select Help, Check for Updates. To demonstrate this, I'm going to create a contour. I've selected clubs from the Custom Shapes. Go to Custom Shape, Hobby, and then Club. With it selected, I'm going to create a contour that's 10 millimeters. I'm going to take both of these and now combine them. The reason I combine them is I have two separate objects and I just want to cut a hole out of the middle to demonstrate the new shadow effect. Here's the new icon. If you don't see this icon shadow effect, then you don't have the latest update. To demonstrate this, let's open Shadow Effect. We've got several different options here. For any of you who have done scrapbooking where you've done blackout and to cut a shape behind, you're going to love this new effect. Let's demonstrate this first by changing the color to a darker shade. Select Import. Default, I'm going to leave the margin 4 millimeters and on Miter and let's click OK. Here you can see my corners are mitered. And if we open this up, you can see that I have an outer border that is four millimeters wider on the outer edge as well on, as on the inner edge. Let's undo this to go back to our original shape. Select Shadow Effect again, and let me show you what bevel would be. Let's select a darker, color green and import. We're on bevel and notice the edges are beveled rather than mitered. And again this gives me four millimeters on the outer edge and on the inner edge creating a nice shadow effect. Let's undo that. Select our shape. Go to shadow effects. Now show what round is. Again we'll change the color to a darker shade. We're on round. Now you can see we have nice rounded edges. And again, we have the four millimeter. Selecting the shape, let's go to shadow effect. Now let's go to inset. Select inset and we'll keep it at miter since you know the difference between bevel and round. Let's change the color to a darker shade import OK. Now what has happened here is we have the darker shade gave us an inset which will be placed on the inside of the thick green. So this does the opposite of what the default does. So if we take the shape you can see that we have the two different shapes undo this, select our shape, shadow effect, and now let's go to blackout and we'll keep it at miter. Again, I'll change the color to a darker shade. Select OK and to get the blackout, you've got a full shape cut out behind your original shape. This is used a lot in scrapbooking. Let's undo this. Select our shadow effect and for outline only. This is very similar to the default except it fills it. It removes the fill color. We'll leave this at miter. We'll change this background to a darker shade. And notice the inside is filled or rather unfilled with color. And this is more for visual. So there is your shadow effects. Again, you'll find this here, blackout. Let's just do the rounded or the bevel blackout. And let's just change this to a different shade. And there you have your shadow effect.